Hey guys, it's Dantec here for another episode of Dantec Reviews. And today I have something here with me really special. It's called the Pedicure Professional Grade Hair Grooming Dryer. All right, let's get right into it. So before I explain any further, this thing requires a lot of power, which is 2,400 watts total. It's one of the more powerful machines that I've ever used before. So you do want to keep in mind that you want to use a, a 20 amp, 110 volt outlet. Most households would have 15 amps and 20 amps. 20 amps are usually designated for the, your dryer and, and um, your washing machine. They usually have it. And maybe in your garage. You'll know the difference between a 20 amp and a 15 amp by telling on the receptacle. In the socket, you'll see like a T. That's for a 20. For a 15, it's going to be two parallel lines and a ground. All right. So I do have an extension cord with me that is 16 gauge, which can handle this 2,400 watts of power. So let's get into the different modes on this. So I have it pl plugged in already. All right. So there's a power over here, minus, the plus, and the mode over here. Sorry, the light might be shining on the mode a little bit. There you go. Just in case you need to see it. So there's different modes on this. Um, there's one for regulating temperature and one for regulating the speed of the fan. So let's get right into it. When I press power, you'll see these light up and you'll see the temperature over here on this side and you'll see a timer on this side. All right, so pressing mode, let me just get right in, into it and then we'll explain. All right, so upon startup, let's take a focus here. So upon startup, you'll see it on a very low mode. In fan speed, I'm sorry. So in order to boost up the fan speed, you keep pressing the plus over here. And you'll notice it'll move progressively from here to here. And it'll continue going forward. There you have it. And to bring it down, you simply press the minus. And you do see a reading of the temperature right here to let you know how much your temperature is. Now, the other thing about mode, you can press here, and then you see a two over here. So the lowest mode we have for temperature wise is one. And then it goes progressively up to eight. When you're at eight, it's at a really high temperature. So say for example, we're at eight and we'll press, press it to go. You'll get very hot air. Let's go to the fan setting. You have very hot air. All right. So it does come with this Pose over here. Let me see if I can zoom out. All right, so it comes with this hose, which is expandable, and it comes with three different heads and one adapter. All right, so the head, let me show you how this works. The head goes into the adapter this way. So there's a round head. A very flat head and a straight flat head. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take the the threaded end of the adapter, as you can see here. Take the other end of the hose, and you start screwing it on. Once you get an amount screwed on, you're fine. All right. And then you just simply press that in. And the adapter works nicely and it holds this firmly. All right, and then let's get onto this. I hope I don't don't blow don't blow this tripod out.
So yeah, the interface is really, really easy and friendly to use. It's not hard at all. It's just simply messing around with the power up and power down in terms of the different modes, in terms of temperature and fan speed. There's specs on the side over here. That tells you the voltage it uses. It's 110 and to 120. Power supply is 2,400 2, watts with the amps at being at 20 amps. You put this two ways. There's legs on, on the rubber grips on the bottom on this, on the back. Or you can put them on the down here. Right down here. And it does stay really firm wherever you put it. There's a handle here. You can lift it all around. This is, do know that this is professional commercial grade. If you do want to use it in your household, you definitely can. And it does really work really well. It does blow, blow into the undercoat of, of dogs where you just simply cannot reach with a regular hair dryer or with towels or, or, or specialized towels. Even specialized towels won't seep into the undercoat as well. And so, and also one more thing is that using uh, a regular hair dryer that you use for your hair, human hair, is that you get really high temperatures that are really adverse effects towards dogs. They're gonna get itchy skin, they're gonna get dandruff, they're gonna be really uncomfortable with that hot air. This controls the air temperature really well in, in, in terms of not getting that heat, but you get that power of, of, of wind and, and, and just blowing out all the, um, the moisture out. And it works really well. Well, I hope this really gives you an idea of what this product is about. I'll be posting a lot of pictures in the pictures section. And if you have any other questions, let me know. There are accessories that you can use with this, um, this product. I'll probably explain it in, in my other video. I'll have a link towards that video, towards that product. There's a wall mount that you can use to hang this up instead of having it on your whatever surface that you have. It'll be mounted on a wall. All right, thank you guys for your attention and listening to me. I hope this was helpful towards your purchase decision. Again, this is Dantec Reviews. Have a good one, guys.